So we're in Red Hook and we're gonna head over to Governor's Island. company is called Circular Economy Manufacturing. We're a new startup. We were originated after being selected as a co-winner in the Curb to Market Challenge, which was a business competition asking for ideas to turn New York City's trash into products. About two months after we won the competition, we heard an announcement that Governor's Island wanted to focus on climate change we uh, presented the idea to them and uh, they agreed. They, they loved what we were doing. They loved the fact that it was solar. It helped that it was in a shipping container, right? So it's deployable easily. And they said something that's really stuck with me. They said, you know, we love hosting the Climate Change Museum. They're educating people about the problem, but you guys are offering a solution. Uh, you're presenting how we can do things in the future with solar, with recycled material and with um, micro hyperlocal manufacturing. We're gonna start by selling small products to citizens. So we're gonna turn this into a little light. We're going to make uh, planters. So we're gonna sell a number of products directly to citizens, both on here on the island, on our website. But then we also recognize the opportunity to sell basic urban infrastructure to cities. So traffic cones and bike lane bollards and construction barrels and construction barriers, all of the urban infrastructure that's currently made with virgin plastic and made in a big fossil fuel oven can be all done using a solar powered micro factory of recycled plastics. And then the third is the whole unit itself. We think we can and will start selling the whole unit and some sort of franchise or lease agreement around the world. I'm just incredibly grateful for the opportunity to now bring my classroom to life and really walk the walk.